Not sure why I did wrong. Here we have the integral of sine squared times sine of 2x. And here is your work. Let me tell you, your answer is totally okay. Nothing wrong. The reason that your answer looks different than the answer in the back of the book is just that your answer is off by a constant from the answer in the back of the book. So if you look at your attached picture, you see that the two graphs, they are just off by a vertical shift. So your answer is totally okay. So right here, let me show you how to get the answer in the back of the book then. It's just depending on where you use the substitution, that's all. So here is the integral, and notice that the input here is 2x. We want to make sure that we want to have sign of the same input. This is just x, right? So the first step is correct. You use the double angle identity to break this apart. That's perfect. So this is the integral of sine squared x times sine of 2x is 2 sine x times cosine x. Now, this is just 2 times this and that, so we can put the 2 on the outside. So we have 2 times the integral, and have a look right here. Here we have sine squared x times sine to the first power x. So multiply it all together, we get sine to the third power x. And then of course we still have this cosine x right here. As we can see, we have a cosine x factor right here, and this right here means we have sine x in the parentheses and then raised to the third power. So right here, we can just take a u sub. Let's go ahead and put u equal to sine x, because this way, du is very nicely equal to cosine x dx. So as you can see, this is now 2 times the integral. This is the u, so we have u to the third power. And then this right here is just our du, just like that. And to integrate this, of course, we can just do the reverse power rule. Add 1 to the power, we get 4 for the new power. Divided by the new power, we have the 1 over 4. So 2 times 1 over 4, we get 1 over 2. And then we have u to the fourth power, and we know u is sine x. So we have sine right here, x, and then to the fourth power. Yeah, all done. So put on plus c right here. That is it. All right. So sometimes when you are doing sine cosine integrals or tangent secant integrals, you end up with like a different looking expressions, and your strategy was correct. Check the graphs, make sure that the answers maybe are just off by a constant. If so, you should be getting full credit as well. Alright, that's it.